Have you heard of the Rothschilds, the richest family in the world, the untold secrets of their wealth and luxuries, and how they became the richest family in the world is what I am about to unveil in today's video. Welcome back, great minds. Today, we're diving deep into the riveting world of wealth, power, and secrecy. The Rothschilds, the epitome of wealth, have secrets hidden away like treasure chests. So, gather round as we uncover the fascinating story of the wealth they have and how they amass their vast fortune. Oh, and if you want more mind-blowing content like this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Trust me, you won't want to miss a thing. Not only conspiracy theorists, but many competent financial professionals and respected journalists believe that some of the world's wealthiest people live in oil-rich Middle Eastern countries, with fortunes much exceeding those of Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. Then there are many who feel that a specific European family is the wealthiest family of all time. They are, of course, referring to the Rock Rothschilds, a Jewish banking dynasty from the 1700s who once possessed over half of all the wealth in the globe. Consider them the international equivalent of the Jag at Seth family. In any case, their beliefs are not incorrect. This family remains silent, and little is known about them. The combined wealth of the Rothschilds is estimated to be in the trillions. You heard that correctly, trillions with a capital T. They essentially coined the phrase rich and famous. According to reports, the family is now worth 500 trillion. The Rothschilds live in a lifestyle that most of us can only dream of because of their enormous riches. They eat with royalty, mingle with the privileged, and are surrounded by luxury at every turn. If they were on Instagram, their feed would be filled with hashtag rich people problems. But here's the thing, my friends, with great wealth comes great conspiracy theories. Some folks believe believe the Rothschilds control the world's financial systems and governments, pulling the strings from behind the scenes. I would love to hear your opinion concerning these speculations. Don't be quick to judge, but follow me as I unveil more information that will help you make the right decision. Let's rewind the clock and go back to the early 19th century, a time when Europe was bustling with political and financial intrigue. Enter the Rothschild family, a dynasty that would soon reign supreme in the world of finance. Their journey began with Mayor Amschel Rothschild, a man with a vision, a vision to conquer the banking world. Mayor Amschel Rothschild established banking businesses across Europe, strategically placing his sons in key financial capitals. Talk about a master plan. They had their fingers on the pulse of the global economy, creating a network of financial powerhouses. And with this, they were able to give the world some fascinating stories. Here are some incredible stories about this family that have made the rounds for decades and centuries now, which sound very fascinating when we delve deeper into them. In my own opinion, I believe the most important thing about this this family is that they successfully invented the concept of international banking. The Rothschilds were the first bankers to establish their banks in the European colonies, with most of their banks being established in Africa and East Asia. They had a very robust and sophisticated interbank communication system. This allowed them to form the first truly international bank. They basically funded the colonization of Africa in the 1800s. At one point in time, they controlled the largest bank in the United States of America while sitting in Europe. Aside from the invention of international banking, the Rothschild family also controls over 25 banks and investment companies across the world. Rothschild has equity investments in eight of the 10 biggest financial institutions in the world. N.M. Rothschild & Sons, an English investment bank, does most of its business as advisors for mergers and acquisitions. Paris Orleans S.A. is a financial holding company owned and controlled by the Rothschild family. Rabobank Group, the leading investment and private bank in the Netherlands is also owned by the Rothschild family. Through such control of banks, the Rothschild family was directly involved in the independence of Brazil from Portugal in the early 19th century. Also, it was believed, according to the theories, that this family was behind the First World War. Yes, you heard that right. They started the First World War just to make money. This one sounds so crazy, doesn't it? There is a theory that they created situations that led to the First World War. It was always remembered that they made a massive fortune by supplying ammunition, weapons, and medical supplies to both the Allies and the Axis powers. Remember Professor Moriarty from Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows? It is said that his character was based on the Rothschild family. 
and not too long after, they are also involved in World War II, logically, as this family also funded both the Allies and the Axis powers in World War II. Although they did not start World War II, it can be argued that it was their actions before World War I that led to the fall of Germany's economy and subsequently the start of World War II. As far-fetched as that may be, one thing that is clear is that they made an even bigger fortune in World War II by funding both the Allied and the Axis powers. Some even say they actually funded and helped Japan attack the United States of America at Pearl Harbor, forcing the US to join the war. This family was so wealthy that the family owns about 30% stake in all the major banks today. The family today is pretty much underground. Only a handful of descendants are out in the public eye but again, in a very reverse capacity. These descendants are mainly known to be some of the richest people in Europe and the owners of some of the biggest investment brokerage firms in Europe. However, several reputed financial journalists have claimed that the entire family functions as a shadow organization even today and has a major stake in almost every international bank. It was believed that they own a 30% stake in all major banks combined. When it comes to the Rothschild family's assets, the Rothschild family owns an enormous cash reserve of over 70 billion dollars, kept safely within the banks owned by the family itself. The Rothschild family has a stock reserve of over 20 billion in US dollars, 6 billion in Japanese yen, and 33 billion in euros. The most notable stocks owned by the Rothschild family include Meta or Facebook, Apple, Berkshire Hathaway, Amazon, Visa, Starbucks, Bloomberg, Qualcomm, JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, PepsiCo, Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, and Hewlett Packard. Their vast luxury lifestyle led the Rothschild family to venture into the winemaking industry for 160 years. Today, the Rothschild family owns many wine estates in France, Italy, South America, South Africa, and Australia. The Rothschild family is also the official supplier of wine for the Vatican Church, for which they do not charge any fee and provide the wine for free of cost. The Rothschild family controls over 70% of total wine sold in Europe through direct and indirect means. The Rothschild family has earned over $16 billion in the previous 12 months through their wine sales. The Rothschild family has enjoyed a life of opulence and luxury, with a range of extravagant indulgences that reflect their immense wealth and influence. Their grand estates and mansions across Europe, characterized by exquisite architecture and lush gardens, stand as a testament to their affluence. The family's fine art collections boast priceless masterpieces from renowned artists, displayed in private galleries and museums. The Rothschild's philanthropic endeavors have also made a significant impact, supporting causes such as education, healthcare, and cultural preservation. Their access to exclusive clubs and societies further solidifies their social standing and access to luxurious experiences. Fine dining at renowned restaurants, adorned with high-end fashion and jewelry from prestigious designers is a common indulgence for the family. The Rothschild family's wealth also includes over 55 luxury yachts, 10 private jets, and 13 luxury hotels, and many more. One good and amazing part of the Rothschild family is that the family has donated the most to the Vatican in the past year, despite the family being Jews. The Rothschild's family has donated a whopping $5 billion to the Vatican Church and has also sponsored the personal trips of Pope Francis. After diving into the extraordinary world of the Rothschild family, I have to ask you, what is it that you desire most about their lavish lifestyle? Is it the private jets that make you go, I want to soar through the skies like a billionaire superhero? Or perhaps it's the sprawling mansions that make you dream of your very own castle in the air. And what do you think to be the most mind-blowing thing done by this family and the speculations around their wealth acquisition? The comment section is just for you. So let me hear you out. I have good news for you. If you want a chance to live like a Rothschild for a day, okay, maybe just a few hours, here's what you do. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you won't miss out on anything. Who knows? Maybe, just maybe, our team of imaginary fairy godparents will grant one lucky viewer a taste of the good life. Remember, the more likes and subscribers we have, the stronger our magic becomes. So hit that button, subscribe, and let the universe know what luxurious desires you secretly harbor. Until next time, keep dreaming big, keep exploring, and keep coming back for more captivating stories that'll make your mind go ka-ching. That'll be all for now. See you in the next enchanting luxury adventures. Stay fabulous.